Hey everyone, Little Green Man here along with Chemist for Me and Man Cave. And today we are going to be unboxing the Ghostbusters Ecto 1 by Hot Wheels and it is 118 scale. Yep, this isn't the Elite version. Um, I, mean, I could not find an Elite version for uh, Green Man for well, Christmas. Yeah, it'd probably be freaking expensive <laughs> if they were. Yeah, they are super expensive right now. You can't even touch them. Secondary markets jacked them so far up. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, this one looks like it's gonna be pretty cool, but we'll have to we'll have to open it up and see. Let's take a look at the box and see what we got. This is just like you know the general view first. Yeah. And on the other side, it shows you know more you know detailed views that yep. you might not be able to see if you were just looking at it from the front box or something. Yep. Definitely a smaller scale than. Uh, the other uh, video, if you've seen it, with our yes, Ecto One, the giant Ecto One. <laughs> Actually, uh, I have a mini Hot Wheels car, like uh, you know, like the regular Hot Wheels cars. So oh, yeah. we have that one, this one, and then the giant <laughs> Hot the Wheels giant car. Ones that, well, that, well, yeah, the giant one's not Hot Wheels. That's Hot no, but Blitzway. Uh, yes. Make that one. So we this... have them all uh, like a size comparison. Yes, <laughs> yes, we should. We should have them all together in a video. <laughs> all right. Well, let's pop this thing open and see what we got. Oh, this is a interesting box. Foam of styro. <laughs> the way it opened was weird. Uh, now, it was quite a long stretch between. We act, he actually got this for Christmas, and we're just getting a chance to get this thing broken into. So far, it's, it looks like it doesn't come like all together. You gotta put some of the pieces on. Okay, doesn't look like a ton of assembly though. No. But those right. directions. Okay. Right. Whoa! <laughs> Alright. Well, watch out when you pull the pop off there. Obviously, yeah. there's a little thing hidden in there. <laughs> okay. It's, I think it's screwed down by those things. Oh, yeah. So far, it looks really nice. Yeah, I like the nice and pristine. Yeah, nice condition here. Yes, the nice chrome. Everything on here. The antennas mm -hmm. are bent down. It does look like it is screwed into the sink. Yeah, just need details and lights. All right, well, we'll get a better look on it here once we get it out of the styrofoam. As you've seen some of our other videos. These super annoying screws. <laughs> screws, to yeah. Keep so. it. And There's four of them. We'll pop those out and then show you, get you a better look at this. Yeah. Alright, we just finished up getting the screws out and it's kind of difficult. These are really, really big. Yeah. I mean, it's really, it, it seems like overkill. I, I mean, we've had a couple models with these type of things in them. I, I really don't know. Why they have why they have those? It seems like there's other ways you can pack like, these in. Yeah, some other of the cars that we've unboxed seem to be packed uh, less heavy duty than this. And they're and totally it is, fine. Yeah, and it's nice and compact too. Yeah. Uh, also, so one thing I don't like when they do that is because it gets holes in the bottom of the car. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm, oh, there okay, they are. So you get they're in the corners, the four corners. So again, you know what? I don't know, I just don't see it think where it's necessary to have those in there. But anyway, this is the bottom car. Well, since we're on the bottom here, we'll take a look at the bottom. Yes. Um, it's not colored or anything, but at least there's some detail. Um, I think that's, I don't, yeah, I think that is plastic, but mm -hmm. at least it's a separate piece for the exhaust system. And there, the wheels do turn. turn. I don't think that's suspension. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I'm not expecting anything super fancy with this, but yeah, but yeah, look. But even the even these models here are expensive to buy right now. Um, you know, I can't even imagine. I think the elites right now are probably in the over five hundred dollars or something at this point. So you can't even really touch them if you don't want to spend a ton of money. Um, uh, yeah, it looks like so. You got your detail in here. You get your antennas, which actually is on a spring. It looks like. Yeah. Which is cool. Nice to take them out. Yeah, there it is. Which they smell, it's supposed to be leaned over. You don't want. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're supposed to have them leaned. They are leaned over even on the actual model, so they're not just sticking up in the air. 
they should have. That's that's what they're supposed to be doing. They do that even mine. They actually, in fact, they're laying down and they're mounted down like that. They're supposed to be like that. So, actually, it's pain in the face. Um, looks at me at your. Well, since we got that, we'll just take a look at the uh, inside. Okay. Got the plastic out. The doors do open. Yes. Alrighty. It's hard to see inside here, but let's, uh, there we go. Got the pedals, uh, looks like a radio yeah. or something down there. What Doesn't is look like they have any, any marks on the, on the, um, you know, gauges or anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, it's kind of hard to see in here. It's really dark. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you've got... Uh, you have, I mean, there is a detail, and it doesn't look like they. It doesn't look like they put any decals or anything on the actual. Is the back door open? Uh, this one. Oh, uh, yeah, probably. I think so. Or does it not? Uh, no. It looks like it should. But might be snug. No, I don't. No, actually, I don't think it does open. Maybe that's only on the elite model. Maybe it's only your front. Yeah, it looks like it should open, but I don't think. I don't believe it does. No, uh, yeah, because if it, it's not like budging, like. Here's your the door. Yeah, this is our first Hot Wheels model, model. that we've done. Um, now I don't even know what these things retailed for when they were new, but we even got this one after the fact that it wasn't even on the market anymore. So uh, I'm wondering if uh, the back opens. Yeah, let's see. Let's take a look. Is it? Uh, no. 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 Okay. So your dad, your back doesn't doesn't open on that one. Okay. I like the chrome. Mm -hmm. Everything I really is, yeah. The paint job's nice on this. Yeah, the chrome's very nice. Now I wish these lights were red. In the back. Yes. But I do like the chrome. The chrome is very nice on here. And you have to get your plate. And there. Properly. And we have to do some assembly here mm -hmm. on this. Let's see if the. The hood opens. I do not think it does. No, does that not open either? I don't, I mean, I don't think it does. Because okay. even if it did, I think they would have shown it on the uh, box. True. Alright, so, so more or less, this is a more of a static model. Yes, like just like hard display. Yeah, right, okay. But, yeah, yeah. Grill does look nice though on this. You can definitely tell that they put a lot more detail in the elite model of it, but it still looks, you know, it's still a nicely. Take nicely there. colored. All right. Let's look at the driver's side of the car. Now, I'm wondering, since some of the stuff isn't normally on it, if the wheel turns? It does. I can okay. see it in there. Yeah, so the wheel does turn with the wheels, so it does have that. Um, you do have the pedals down there. It just doesn't look like they've marked any of the gauges or anything. Uh, again, I don't. We don't have any other Hot Wheels models of you know of this scale. So I'm so not sure if yeah, like this is just for this or uh, yeah, if that's it's standard mm -hmm. or not. Um, they do this. They do a DeLorean again. I think the DeLorean they do from Back to the Future is an elite mod to do, but again, you know, you can't even touch those anymore. It's just so far out of the... But, so what we're going to do next, I think we're going to put the uh, parts on this and see how it... Okay, so we just opened up the uh, two different uh, packs that are wrapped in, like a tissue paper, and uh, there's two of them. So that way, you know, you don't like accidentally throw one out, which would yeah. be awful. <laughs> yeah, 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 we didn't notice this one either no. when we first opened it up. Like, so. I, uh, they were on the top, so when I lift it, they kind of fell, fell, fell out. Yeah. All right, so let's put some of these together. I think probably, does it say which one you're supposed to stick on here first? Uh, we'll check the directions right here. All right, so I, yeah, you put on the top piece first. All right, so top goes in first up there. It? The other way. The other way. Yeah. Yep. There you go. 
And it looks like they just, you know, stuck down into the receptacles. Pegs. I don't really want to force anything and break it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. It looks like they just more or less just rest in there. Yeah. That's the right way. That's the right way. This goes anyway. You can base that anyway you want at that point. Alright, and then hoses. Which are gonna go on on the driver's side. I believe they go on the driver's side, the little like PVC piping. I could be wrong. This one. Yeah. Looks like it goes right here and sticks down. Yep. We did get it in. It, uh, it was kind of difficult, but we managed. <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, it's, it's kind of finicky of where it's going to go in it. So, yeah, we we didn't actually put the piping in the hole because I don't think it, honestly, I don't think it was, like, long enough to actually reach. So, we, it's just kind of just barely outside of it. You don't really notice it anyway, No, because uh, that is covering it up. Yep. Alright, so we've got the other side coming right, out. We've got the ladder. Uh, so the right two pegs, or holes, are going to be uh, used for the ladder. And, and two this, holes up top. Yeah, they have two receptacles up at the top there. I don't know if you can see them in a video. They're just above the screen, like, pipe. There we go. So, there's your ladder. ladder in. And then the last piece, just a little piece of pipe. Mm -hmm. Now, this hole, this hole, and right up on this box up here, you can see there's not really like a hole, but like, you know. A little receptacle for yeah. it there, too, as well. Put it through here. You know, it's pretty. That one, that part's pretty easy compared yes. to the other side. Mm -hmm. There you go. There we go. Uh, all built. All right, <laughs> not a lot to do on that. So, <laughs> all right. Well, we're gonna show, give you a good uh, look at it all around. All right, we got the uh, car assembled, nice and assembled. Uh, so, this is what it looks like all put together, and it is a pretty car. Yes, it pretty. is very, very nice. Like if you're, if you're not too picky about like detail, and you just want like you know, the car just overall looks pretty good. Yes. You know, and not have to spend like a ton, a ton of money. Of money. Yeah. Like it, this it, is still this was still pricey. It's just because I mean it wasn't when it originally came out. I think you could have gotten this thing when it originally came out for probably seventy maybe. Hmm. Now this thing, what we paid for it, they had to yeah was it like, like rare or something. Oh now yeah because it's all secondary market and then if you get the elite version it's probably like five to seven hundred for the same size but in the elite version at this point but yeah it's up there but it's got a nice paint job i mean little things i just i just like the i just think the paint is really nice on yeah. it though with mm -hmm. the chrome right. it just stands out pretty solid the interior didn't have much to it but it, even even with that included it I mean, like, I'm I'm gonna put it. I have some stuff in my room that that's Ghostbusters related, and so I'm gonna put it in there, and it's it's gonna make a nice addition. Yeah, with your backpack. Yep. The proton, proton pack. pack. Yep. yep. And this is all your details up on the top, and what we put on here. Those look pretty. Those look fairly nice. Yep. Little things that I like. There's little things you can tell that they left out. Like there's a thing that goes up on the top of here. But again, you know, it's, it's not like a model to be super picky about. No. Nope. Like, like like some of the uh, like die cast models that we have. Yeah. Man cave. This is it is a pretty model though. And if you are a Ghostbusters fan and you want to get something that looks pretty nice, it is still pretty nice. It's. I really like it. I, I love it. It's just, it's gonna go in my room and I'll like look at it and. <laughs> make me happy <laughs> all right let's spin this around get to ever look at the other side with the where the ladder and everything on there and there and look at the wheels they are rubber by the way yeah just in case you guys were wondering 
and you've got the spacing on the windows. Windows, you can see it in there. Mm -hmm. Let's see. They did include that. This isn't a decal, it is painted on as well, which I like. Mm -hmm. And the one thing about this one compared to our 1 6 scale <laughs> is that this is all metal. Yes. <laughs> if the one downstairs was all metal, it um, would be like 5 billion pounds. <laughs> yeah. Made out of solid gold. <laughs> yeah. But it is nice. I do, I do like the model. What yes. really would have been nice is if, like, there were a battery compartment and those lights yes. were able to run. Yeah, and, and again, like I said, I, I don't, I, even in the Elite, that's why I think, even though there's an Elite version of this, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point uh, somebody comes out with a model of this that's in this scale that does actually light up. Yes. So, the technology is there so they can do it. If there were like an RC version. Oh, an RC that version would be, would be uh, really cool. wow. <laughs> yeah, that would be something else. Overall, though, it's a pretty nice model. Very cool. I'm gonna pan over. Um, yeah, again, though, no, you know, if you're really a, you know, if you really yeah. want, yeah, if you really want an exact detail, then you're probably not gonna be satisfied. satisfied. But I mean, I'm not, I'm not too picky. I, I, I like, I really like it. Yep. So. And then, and then when you're looking at it too, I mean, you're just looking at it in general. Mm -hmm. It look, it just look, it looks like a good model, you know, at, at a glance. Anyway, guys, I thank you guys for tuning in. Come back for your next episode of Meanwhile in the Man Cave. Talk to you guys later. <laughs>